Hello everyone and welcome to the craft instructions video to make the Mandela CD Suncatcher. My name is Diane and I work in Information Services at Belleville Public Library. I will be guiding you through how to make this beautiful Suncatcher. Let's review what materials you're going to need. First, in your kit you have craft instructions, a disc, a Mandela template, your paint colors in little paint pots, and fishing line to hang it up. At home you will need to gather rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab, scissors, a black marker, a paintbrush, and something you can use as a primer like Mod Podge or clear nail polish. A hammer and a nail to place a hole in the sun catcher. The first thing we're going to do is take our rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab and we're going to clean the disc. This to, is to ensure there's no fingerprints or grease marks on it and this will help the paint stick better to the disc. The next thing we're going to do is apply a layer of Mod Podge to the side of the disc you're going to be painting. This acts as a primer and gives the paint something to stick to. Now set your disc aside and let it dry. Next it's time to take your template and cut it out. We're going to attach it to the back of the disc with the pattern face up with tape and that makes it easier to trace. I'm going to trace a pencil mark using my disc around the pattern to make it easier for me to follow as I'm cutting. And now cut out your template. Take some tape, double it up, and then put it on your template like this. The tape is clear, so you'll still be able to see the pattern through your disc. Then take your disc, and remember, it has to be the Mod Podge side up because that's what the paint's going to stick to and gently set it over top of the template. Now take your Sharpie pen and you can start to trace the template design on top of your disc. When I'm tracing it, instead of trying to do one big line at one time, I try and break it down and trace the smaller lines. I find this works best for me. And at the end of your project, once you've finished painting, of course, we all work very, very hard to paint within the lines, but that doesn't always happen. So I retrace with the marker the lines and define them so that it really helps your paint colors pop. It's a nice compliment to them. Okay. And now it's been fully traced onto the disc. We're gonna remove the template 
from underneath. And there's your starting pattern. Okay, we're gonna get started painting. For this particular disc, I'm gonna use the very pale blue, the deep, deep purple, and the green. And I'm gonna alternate colors, that's my decision. Um, you can do whatever combination you would like to do with your disc. And uh, I have a paintbrush here in a cup of water because you, as I'm alternating colors, I find so that I don't get mixed up in the pattern, I tend to um, go back and forth between my different paint colors. And that's just the way my brain works, so it works for me. Because a mandela can get kind of detailed and complex sometimes, and you just want to make sure when you're trying to create a pattern that you keep. Um, True to that pattern. The other thing I have on hand is a cloth in case I need to do some wipe ups. It's pretty easy if you make a big mistake to wipe that paint off while it's still wet. Um, so let's get started. So to keep this simple, I'm using a very simple paint palette. It's a uh, Ziploc bag, plastic bag. I'm putting my little dots of paint here, but you have your paint pots to work with and that, that uh, will work better for you probably green there and my very very pale blue over here oops there we go so I've got my three colors and I've got my paintbrush and I've got my cloth and I'm gonna get started I'm gonna start with a deep deep purple I'm gonna alternate painting my flower petals And here is the first part of my mandala with alternating flower petal colors. And I'm going to continue to paint this around the outer edge. So I'm just finishing up the last bit of painting. And then I will assess if I want to put second coat on any of this. And I already know I kind of do. Once I've completed painting the disc, what I like to do is go back over the black outlines and do those again so that it really stands out and helps make the color pop. Here's the disc now that I've finished outlining each of the areas and it really does make it stand out much better. Finally it's time to pull out your Mod Podge or clear nail polish and you're going to seal the painted surface. Not only does the seal provide a nice gloss finish. It also protects the paint so that it doesn't peel off, especially if you're gonna be hanging this outdoors. Get an old piece of wood or an old cutting board and place your disc on top of it. Position the nail at the top of the disc and use the hammer to punch the nail into the disc and make a hole. Thread your fishing line through the hole and tie it into a knot.
And now it's time to hang your sun catcher in your garden or in your favorite window and enjoy.